Hello folks, welcome back to MT Engineering. In this tutorial, we will add this stunning flow simulation to this RC helicopter using flow simulation wizard by setting proper rotational and computational domains and setting proper goals. So from those results, we can look at surface plots and flow trajectories of the fluid, particularly the air. So without wasting your time, let's jump right into it. Open the final assembly of RC helicopter. Now let's go ahead and build the rotational regions. In order to do that, we have to add two new parts into the assembly. Then we will create discs right over the, these two plates add new part click on this empty space go to insert components new parts now we will have to insert edit these parts choose top plane and we will make a plane parallel to this one choose this view we will drag this plane this new plane apart so increases the distance okay let's zoom in and increase it a little bit up i think it is enough so choose this plane we can find it easily here choose this plane and sketch we have to draw a circle we will draw this circle from this center actually the center of the blades up to this outer and specify the dimension 260 and exit the sketch and go to features extrude both base we will add a thickness that fully cover this blade we don't concern about the dimension this is where we are going to define the rotational region where it is going to spin the air around the blade to simulate the blade actually spinning on the helicopter similarly we will add another we will edit this the second part choose top plane make plane parallel to this one Choose this side, decrease the, the increase a little bit. I think it is perfect. Click OK. Choose 
change the transparency of the, the, these parts and sketch on this new plane choose this edge and convert into this go to features extrude both base extrude it till it covers the blade fully we can look at it think this enough it will cover the whole blade now the rotational domain is ready Here choose wizard, flow simulation wizard, and you can type the name. Choose next and choose SI units. Next, it is external analysis and check the rotational region. Rotation, and here we will add fluid the gas and it will be air it will have humidity next next then finish the part is being prepared for the simulation As you see, it is very large computational domains. So let's go and shrink that volume. We don't need it to be this big since it will take more time during the analysis. from this direction now it's perfect click ok now go ahead and hide it since we don't we don't have to see them and also change this transparency and here we will add rotational regions and here type 300 these blades actually spin in opposite directions the top blade are the exact mirror of the bottom blades so that that's why this rc helicopter remains stable and the blade the blade is in opposite direction now the two rotational regions are ready and hide those so we don't have to do them and here we will have to insert goals surface goals for the blades choose velocity in the y direction choose all of the face of the blade if you want the lift force or or the lifting or the thrust force 
in the y direction you can choose the force in force in y direction that i prefer velocity and create separate goal for each surface then click ok I think it is ready. So, so let's go and run this analysis. Hit run. It will take a while. Depend on your course. And RAM. I'll skip some parts and I think it is finished. Then close this. Now the results are loaded. So here we can add flow trajectory. Right click, insert. Here we will insert 200 points and choose lines with arrows. The arrow size will be 0 0.01. It have to be very small to avoid clutter. And choose this surface. Also the bottom face. Then click OK. So the, the result will be loaded. This is the final result. Change the backgrounds into plain white. Then to run this simulation, right click and choose play. This will be the flow trajectories. This is actually pressure.
you can take the value the limit values also you can change this to pressure the red spot will show you high stressed parts at the tip of the splitch also hide this will add cut plot right click insert drag this plane right into the middle of this here the limits is not proper that's why the color is similar Okay, thanks for watching.